just a little bit more information on the um, Kelsey uh, case here. Um, as you know, there's more developments and um, some more information coming out. Now, as I said in my other videos, um, now apparently Patrick had um, went back to the home and um, asked Kelsey to smell a candle and he used a sweater to wrap her head up in. Uh, who uses a sweater to, you know, to to um, give somebody a surprise and guess the smell of the candle? No, that's crap. That's a bunch of lies, in my opinion. Because if that were to happen, if that did ever happen, which it didn't, it's just a story made up, that um, you would just put your hands across their eyes wouldn't you say close your eyes now close your eyes now smell it now who would do that that's a bunch of lies idiots they are anyway so I doubt if that was true now KK we call her KK uh, has told so many stories she, uh, this is why a lot of us are getting a bit confused of what's what's true and what in as we're reading it because we're going back and forth back and forth uh, to different stories now that was just one of the stories wrapping her head up and then after that bashed her head in with a baseball bat but before then you know she had uh, taken Kelsey went to Woodland and went to Kelsey's home see Patrick was the one that showed her where she lives because uh, she wouldn't have known otherwise. He had gave her the address and probably weighed in somewhere watching what she's doing. Now, it's obvious that Patrick wanted to blame to um, get you know, KK involved because and blame her for everything and get her to do the deed. Um, and then say she was a jealous woman, you know, she's a jealous girlfriend. And then, uh, you know, also uh, KK had denied ever having a romantic uh, relationship with Patrick. Of course, she denied that. So here goes, here's another lie, deny. And then then they said they only have a business relationship a business relationship um, what was the business yeah the only two things that you had a business relationship in was a Kelsey and getting rid of her that was your business with Patrick now and then another thing came out that KK and Patrick have been having a relationship since March last year, 2018. So now they're in a relationship. So it goes from this to this to this. So there's two or three lies right there about her relationship with Patrick. Now, we do know that she is a, was an Idaho nurse. Uh, and her friends have stated that she was dating and seeing this guy Patrick from Colorado. So they've already said that. And so there's a few lies right off the bat there. Now about the coffee. Now KK knew what Kelsey's favorite coffee was, obviously. Um moco something i don't know what the hell the name of the coffee was but anyway it's coffee and it's her favorite coffee and she makes up this story about well, i'm not sure which story she made up because she'd gone there a few times <laughs> anyway we'll talk about the coffee one um she had gone and made up a story about i don't know uh 
she just moved in or um, she's new to the neighborhood or something or she, um, or she's welcoming her and brings her a coffee. Now, who brings coffee to your neighbor um, to say thank you? A lost dog or something. I don't know what. who came up with that story about the lost dog. Who's lost dog? Did Kelsey ever find somebody's dog that was lost? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, the lost dog. And she said she was supposed to put some narcotics in that coffee. But she said she didn't. Uh, she changed her mind. But she did manage to take the coffee she did manage to take the coffee so we don't know if drugs were ever in that coffee to make Kelsey drowsy and fall asleep right and then they were gonna go in the home like um, not long after hoping that she would have uh, drunk that coffee and fallen to sleep and then bashed her head in but anyway She's, KK said she changed her mind and didn't put nothing in the coffee, didn't put no poison, didn't put no drugs in there. You know, because that can be traced. I mean, well, if you're going to drug somebody and kill them, and they're going to die in their home, you think that they would do a, a drug overdose, right? But was the plans to still get rid of the body I don't know but anyway there's another one and then comes along with the um, the rod iron now this is the one that maybe uh, KK used her friend's car with expired plates on it so maybe when I said in my video that she drove to Colorado with her friend's car it might have been she was driving around in her friend's car in Colorado at a different time. And this was one of the times where she was solicited to um, use a iron, a rod iron. And somehow this rod iron is connected with Omar Frazi. Uh, does she, was it her? Um, rod iron boy you know that's a heavy sucker that thing if I'm thinking that pure iron yeah but anyway was it a big poker stick or something you know for a pit a fire pit or something I don't know but anyway this was left um, I don't know by a gate I don't know in the driveway at the ranch and it's supposed to be in the hands of Omar Frazi you know the mother the grandmother and so she's got something to do with this um, I don't know exactly what's her involvement did she know this was going to be used was she in on it what does she know She's not answering questions at right at right now. She has pleaded she pleaded the fifth, 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 fifth on all the questions or some of the questions. Well, all of her questions. So I don't know. I'm not sure how many questions she was asked. But anyway, she pleaded the fifth. And now so that's one or two, three different times that uh, KK said Patrick asked her to kill uh um, Kelsey now it's more than three times it's about four times it's it's more than three times they were coming up you know um, she's scared to death of him scared to death of him yet they're uh, happily talking about ways how to kill Kelsey like you know they're at a business meeting and they're just talking away on what's going to happen, you know, what's going to happen, uh, just like a, another day, hmm. right, 
So when she used her friend's car and her her friend was in the car, maybe in the car. I'm not sure if her friend w was coming along with her. I don't know what the plan was when she used her friend's car with expired plates to go to Kelsey's home and make some excuse about, you know, what is she doing there? Now, if the, if Kelsey had come up dead right there and then, um, come up dead and was beaten with her iron rod, and um, Kelsey's, uh, no, KK's friend was with her and used her truck and her a vehicle, and then that came up on cameras, my God, her friend would have thought, my God, she went, I was with her, and she went and killed this woman. But anyway, she did not kill. But why would you drag your friend in with it? Now she's dragged another friend to and around the area where Kelsey lived. And she was going to uh, kill her. She was going to kill her then, that day. What? So now she, not only is Patrick involved, now she's bringing a friend that uh, involved her too. Whether she knew what was going on. Uh, um, sh well, we know KK. Uh, so who's to say her friend ain't the same way? We don't know. Don't know her. Uh, don't know what her involvement was. Don't know if she has talked to the police and told them and confirmed that yes that was my car I was there but I didn't know what she was doing with a uh, a big me uh, metal rod <laughs> now guys what would your thoughts be if um, if she did see this um, hey uh, I'll be back in a minute I gotta do something or I'll be back in a minute. What what you doing with that big what you doing with that big metal rod with you? What you taking that what you doing with that? That's what I'll be asking. I'll be thinking, what the hell are they gonna do? Smash somebody's car up or or what you gonna do with that? I'll be thinking that way, wouldn't you guys? Yeah, I would be anyway. Be thinking, what the hell? Hmm. But anyway, so she's tried and then she also states that two times don't know which times she, uh, KK said that she nearly went through with it uh, she nearly did it she nearly did it twice she nearly did it the other few times she backed out so oh my god this gets worse she nearly did it now, like I was saying, you know, a scenario, a bank robber, okay, a friend says to his friend, hey, I just want you to do me a favor, I just want you to drive, you've got nothing, no involvement, I just need you to be the, um, the driver, and doesn't really tell him what he's doing, he says, don't worry, you just be the driver, and he goes, you know, and robs somebody, and comes out, and they rob somebody and they end up dead because he shot this person. And and then he goes, oh my God. And he gets in the car and says, drive, 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 drive. And you drive away and then are too scared to tell anybody because you thought, oh, well, shut your mouth now because you're involved now. Because they think you, you're involved now. You're involved now. See? What, isn't that the same thing? Because people that have done that, that's helped a friend out but didn't know they were had a gun or going to kill somebody or rob somebody ended up dead and they got just as much time as they did uh so how is this working out this way she's told so many lies that it's hard to believe which one is true which is the true one because apparently she said, uh, Patrick called her and told her to get down here to Colorado because she has a mess to clean up. 
Like that's the third. That's the first that she heard about it. That he, oh, he must have done something to Kelsey. He must have killed her. He said to bring, you know, bring the cleanup kit, the PPEs, and all that, and the others. You know, the gloves, the gowns, the masks, the you know, hair nets, the booties. You know, everything you must need to clean up a blood spill and bleach to get rid of blood stains. You know, anything that is needed to clean up a crime scene. Mm-hmm. Right. And we know damn well that she has hands-on to getting that stuff. She can get it from work. Anybody's got bleach at home, you can get that from the store. Well, you can get anything from the store. But she certainly can get gowns and and this hazmat stuff and and for a, a cleanup and contamination areas. Well, anyway, guys, she said that was the first that she heard of it. That he called her up and said, "Get to Colorado, get down here because you got a mess to clean up." But the thing is, um, the phone was pinging, phone calls between certain people at a certain time, so. Um, there's surveillance around the area. There is surveillance around the area. There is surveillance at the Sonic, at the restaurant um, area. They got quite a bit of uh, footage there. Um, but the thing is, when Patrick was uh, in and out of that house a couple times that day, first he picked up his kid and took him back to... Um, I guess his mother's house, but he also came back. Now we don't know what he came back to. We don't know, um, did he come back to kill Kelsey or did he come back to uh, finish the job? Um, put her in the tote, put her in plastic bag, you know, and... Um, dispose of her body um but the thing is the first time he was there kk and patrick were talking and you see he was already going to kill her he hasn't killed her yet and he was probably talking to kk and telling her what he was about to do so her story about she didn't know of what he was about to do is a lie. See, she knew. See, there's another chance she could have called the police right there and then. And she didn't. And I don't know what they were talking about on the telephone or how long the phone call was going on for. But you see, there was another chance for her to save that girl's life that woman's life, Kelsey. So, it looks like she lied about that. It looks like she damn well knew what he was about to do. So, she knew before the fact. And she also never called the police to say, um, somebody is just about going to kill this woman. You need to get there right now. All the missed chances. And all this woman's going to get is a few years in prison if we are lucky. You know, I hope there's something. Yeah, she she's already pled guilty and they've already accepted the deal. But if there's different charges that come up, say they find something different or another state finds they can come up with something different, she can be re she can be charged she can be charged, and um, and let's hope that uh, Kelsey's mother Cheryl and and her father Daryl um, file a wrongful death suit on this woman because we have enough evidence that she was involved and she knew the events of what was going on and what was about to happen. This woman deserves to be sued and her life hell for the rest of her life. Uh, this KK needs to be uh, 
sued for money. Oh, it's a shame she's got kids, but that's too bad. Now, uh, she's the one that is uh, knew the events were going to happen months ago, and even on the very day, and did nothing. So, she needs to have a, a lawsuit, uh, a wrongful lawsuit, uh, slapped on her right now. And it doesn't matter if you don't get a cent from somebody. It's the principle. Should never make money on a book. Should never. This is the reason you slap her with a wrongful lawsuit. So she does not profit from this crime. And th that's what they've got to do right now. Um, I don't know if they have to do that right now. They did with Patrick. But they need to slap her one on too. So what do you think about that, guys? So, and, you know, there's so many missed opportunities that the ranch and even KK said, now, this is the time where I get a bit mixed up when she was in Colorado. He said, you know, come to Colorado, you got to uh, uh, clean, clean the mess up. But then she says um, that Patrick took the toe, stuffed her in a barn, and then later went back to her and obviously she was with him when he uh, burnt the body because apparently Patrick was seen at the gas station f um, he was filling up a gas can with fuel he filled that up and she was with him when he got the tote from the barn that was locked up took the tote out and then he put this in a trough you know uh, like a pig's trough or a cattle trough, you know, where the animals feed out of with their feed, uh, with hay or, you know, water, whatever they use it for. Um, he put that in there and, f uh, and put hay around it and then poured gasoline on it and set it on fire and they watched it burn. They watched it burn together, guys. Uh, yeah, so she knew she was going on the ranch to, um, to <laughs> this, this gets, this sounds even worse and gets really strange. I mean, what's her story here? It turned from miss doing a telephone call, a telephone call, which we thought that was pretty bad having your hands on a phone and making these two phone calls but it's gone from that to much worse to a horrific scene to a cleanup to watching the body burn and to say that uh, you watch the body being burnt and you said that he was going to get rid of the body <laughs> what was left of the body um in the river throw the it in the river and uh, put it on the ranch somewhere or no, the, the landfill in the landfill so you know to get rid of a body y you really have to to turn it to ashes it really has to be um, set on fire at a certain temperature and it has to be uh, burning for you know how long it takes it does take quite a while and you don't absolutely get everything cremated not absolutely everything if I mean maybe just about it just depends how long they were burning the body for but what was his mother thinking like what are you doing out there with that fire what you burning on the fire unless it was quite far away from the house you wouldn't know and um 
But anyway, so that was a little bit more information coming out there on that part of the um, horror story that KK was telling in the courtroom. But, you know, there is a lot more different stories. I don't know which one of her stories is true. Now, guys, um, we don't really know because it's not 100% because we know she's a damn liar. She lies all the time. That's my opinion. And she is a liar. And the government has made a deal with the devil. Um, but we don't know really what was her true involvement in this. Was she the jealous girlfriend? Um, Patrick's telling her a bunch of stories. He's telling people that he's got full custody and that Kelsey's an alcoholic and she does drugs. She goes to rehab. She takes off all the time. I mean, he's been... Yeah, oh, and then the next one was she, the baby has bruises all the time. She's abusing the baby. So that was all coming up. Yeah, he was telling people that. He was telling her that. Did she get hate for Kelsey? Did she not like her? Because they're all saying that, you know, Kelsey was the um, engaged to him. But she wasn't engaged to him. Now, they never said... KK was engaged to him. Now, she was truly the girlfriend. Apparently, they've been dating. They've been seeing each other. Um, so, they've got it the wrong way around. A KK was the girlfriend, not Kelsey. And, but, you know, none of his friends seem to know anything about KK. And they apparently have never seen Kelsey. Uh Oh, my God. But anyway, guys, there's a little bit more update on the case. And let's have a discussion and your thoughts on these um, alarming details. And what is your opinion? And how do you think it went down? What things do you believe about her to be true? And what things are a complete lie? Uh I think it's hard to tell which is the truth. Uh, it's easy to figure out what's a lie. But out of those lies, what is the truth? Which story is more to the fact? Uh, well, the only one I can come up with, she had the phone. That's a fact. That's a fact. And apparently with the phone, what did they say about the phone? Apparently... She, you know, they were using burner phones as well. Apparently with this phone, uh, she smashed it up and got rid of it. Um, smashed it up and burnt that too. I, I'm not sure, but smashed it up and got rid of it. Uh, not sure where it, that ended up at. Um, but that's the story about the phone. But... That's the only part that is a fact in her story uh, about the phone. Pinging in Idaho because that has been proven. And the blood spatters in the home. She took four hours to clean up. To clean up. Horrific scene. Now the, the only reason why it would, it would be blood everywhere. If Kelsey was running. And. Her head was hurting, her head was bleeding, and she couldn't think straight because she'd just been hit on the head so hard she can't think straight. So she ran up the stairs, or she ran in the bathroom, or she ran this way, she ran that way. He's holding on to her, and the blood's going everywhere. I just think that Kelsey was, if there's blood all over that house, that means Kelsey was conscious, and she was fighting for her life. For blood to be all over that house. Otherwise. It would be in one area. Say the kitchen. In one area. And. And that would be where the blood. Would stay. And you could keep out of it. No there's blood everywhere. Uh, who walks. 
who would walk into the blood when you just murdered somebody? Nobody. Uh, I think that uh, she was fighting for her life and running away, and he was chasing after her. Um, she just couldn't get out the door. She just couldn't get out the door, and it's Thanksgiving Day, and the probably neighbors weren't in. Because maybe they would have heard her scream in the next door neighbor. But nobody was in that day. He chose a day where a lot of people have family over and, and it's noisy or it, or they just aren't in. So anyway, guys, let's have your discussion, your opinions, and thank you for stopping by.